Let's say that I have the matrix A, and we normally denote matrices with bolded capital letters. So I have the matrix A, and it is a three by two matrix. And so let's say it's one, negative two, three, zero, seven, five. It's a three by two matrix. And what my question to myself, or to you, if you're listening, is what is the transpose of A? And so we denote the transpose like this, A with this little superscript T right over here. And all this is talking about is the transpose. The transpose, transpose of, of, matrix, of matrix A. And so your natural question should be, well, what does it mean to take the transpose of a matrix? It sounds very fancy. Well, it is not that fancy. All this means is, all this means is rows become columns, rows become columns, and you could imagine when the rows become columns, the columns, the columns become become the rows. What do I mean by that? Well, let's do it right over here. So if I have three rows, so let's be clear, this is a, so one, two, three rows. This is three rows by one, two columns. So this is a three by two matrix. If all the rows are going to become columns and all the columns are going to become rows, the transpose is going to be a two by three matrix. It's going to be two rows, the two columns here are going to become the two rows, by three columns. These three rows are going to become three columns. And so it's going to look something like, we do in that blue color. It's going to have two rows now, and it's going to have three columns. So I said all the rows became columns, all the columns became rows. Well, I could view it exactly like that. I have this first row here of one, negative two. I can turn that into my first column now of one, negative two. I have the second row, three and zero. That will be now my second column, three and zero. And I have this third row, seven and five. Well, that's going to be my third column now, seven and five. And you could have just you could have just as easily viewed it the other way around. You could say, look, I have two columns. My first column is one, three, seven. So my first row now is going to be one, three, seven. And then you could say my second column is negative two. 0, 5, and so my second row will be negative 2, 0, 5. Let's do another example of that, just so we really make it clear. So let's say I have matrix B, once again, bolded capital letter. And let's just say it's a really simple 2 by 2 matrix. So it's negative 1, 5, pi, and 3 are its entries. What is B, what is B transpose going to be equal to? Well, once again, we have two rows and two columns. So if all the rows become columns and all the columns become rows, I'm still going to have a two by two matrix. I'm still going to have a two by two matrix. But we just have to say, look, my first row here is negative one, five. So that's now going to be my first column, negative one and five, negative one and five. I have my second row here, which is pi and three. So now that's going to become my second column of pi and three. And so I have taken the transpose. All the rows became columns, all the columns became rows.